So I actually went out this morning and thought I'd start, you know, taking pictures. I, I had my uh, Nikon ZF with my 28 to 75 mm f 2.8 lens on, um, and I was gonna take landscapes and street uh, photos. When I suddenly thought, you know what, I could add Fuji film recipes to my Canon. EOS Mark VI because it's got some custom um, profiles or picture profiles that I could set. Um, I didn't find anything in the Nikon ZF, but there is a section where it says manage picture control and then there is an option to load and save a picture profile. So I'm going to find out if I can do that. Right, so I was able to create a new um, recipe, Fuji recipe, into my Nikon ZF. Um, there is a website, I'm going to put that in the description down below. It's called FujiXWeekly.com. Um, and he's put together a simulation fil uh, film simulation recipes for the Nikon Z um, cameras. Um, so what you basically do when you are in the Nikon menu is you choose based on what the recipe is on the website, you choose which picture profile you want to adjust and you can actually save it as a new picture profile. I have just done, now let me show you, Fuji Chrome. Uh, I'm hoping you can see that and the glare is not doing anything with it, but Fuji Chrome, um, which is basically from the picture profile somber. Um, and you just um, make the edits and you can save it as a different edit. And then you may have to do a little bit of editing of your active D lighting and your high ISO and R. Um, but other than that, it looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to add, there's, he's also got Cine, Cine film on here, which is more of a flat picture profile. And I'm just trying to see what other profiles, oh, there's one that's called vintage color that's coming from the 1970s and the 1980s. I might try that. Um, wow. Okay. I'm gonna have to save this guy's site as a bookmark. Make sure that, um, yeah, make sure I have that. Cause I wouldn't be able to remember all of the other settings that are outside of the picture profile. Uh, but definitely, oh, this one's nice too. Silver slide. It's very, um, I don't know. And the other thing to note is that once you've saved a picture profile um, in the pictures, you could also use that same picture profile. Um, let me go ahead and find that. Same picture profile um, with your video. Um, all you have to do is choose the setting that says same as photo settings on there. And when you do that, the same picture profile that you've saved in photography would be the same one that would appear in your videography. So I'm going to quickly test that and see um, with the video. Yeah, it's coming up as it's got that bit of like almost like a vintagey feel to the film. Um, very nice addition to the cinematic look. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be using that for filming videos with this camera. That's awesome. I love it. Now to give you an idea of what that picture profile looks like in film and uh, sorry in video and in photo I'm going to insert a sample I just took a short video 
of my office here and also a picture of what I see out the window. Okay, so just to show you very quickly, um, I'm going to do one right now. And this one is called analog film. So it's, yeah, very Fuji, Fuji, Fuji. <laughs> yeah, so it's called aged analog. And what you'll need to do, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here, but um, go into your picture profiles. So choose your picture control. This one is saying that we're gonna choose denim. So if you just keep scrolling, you'll find denim in one of the existing picture controls at C11 right there. You choose that one and then you change or adjust the settings inside. So this one says effects 80, um, quick sharp is zero, sharpening is plus two. Uh, mid range sharpening is plus one. Clarity is minus two. Contrast is plus one. Saturation is minus two. Okay, so I've made the changes. I will now um, click on OK so that that saves. And what then? You, what you need to do then after you've done that is go to the next one, which is Manage Picture Control. Click on that one, and then click on save and edit um, because you are currently in that customized denim one you can see there's an asterisk next to the C um, which means it's been customized um, if you click on that one it'll show you what the settings have that ha or have been changed so you just click on OK and what it'll do is it will set it into the fourth section that has been that's unused or essentially your customizable picture profile. So you can see that I've already got already got Fujifilm, I've got Cinefilm, and I've got vintage color. Now we're gonna add aged analog. So when you go in there, it's actually gonna let you change the name of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and change it from Denim 02 to aged analog. This is awesome. I didn't know that, and I have not actually seen um, anyone talk about being able to do this. Uh, everyone just keeps going to Fuji and, you know, saying, oh, their JPEGs are great. I don't need to do anything more it gets baked into the jpeg blah 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 yeah so now when you go back to set picture control um you'd be able to see so you've got your fuji chrome um what was that one cinefilm vintage and then aged and there are so many more picture profiles that you can add. Now, the other thing it's saying there is that I actually have to go back out um, and change my active delighting to low. So, sorry. See active delighting there? If it's already on low, like right now it's a normal, so I'll change it to low. And then it also says that I have to go to the high ISO O and R and change that as well to low. If it's already on low, you just keep it there. Um, and then you go to your white balance. White balance right there. If you click on that, you can look at look for direct sunlight, which is that one. You will need to kind of edit that a little bit so you 
press to the right and you'll get see this sort of like histogram there or is that that called a histogram i don't even know what and you'll see that there's like a to b and then g to m there so you can go ahead and make those changes so this one says um plus four so i'll change that to plus four and then um it's 0 0.5 g oh okay sorry g.5 all right so i've made that change already and you can use this for isos up to 3200 3, okay so now i'm gonna take a short clip the same clip and the same picture that i've done for the other profiles and show you what that looks like And there you have it. If you have ever wanted to get those Fujifilm recipes into your Canon camera, Canon Z cameras, you can. Um, I've done it as well to my Canon M6, although the Canon M6 only has three slots for um, customizable picture profiles. Um, but all good. I'm happy with the ones that I have. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from it. And if you found it useful, please do give me a thumbs up. Um, if you like the video, give it a like. Um, let me know if you have any questions in the comment section down below. And like I said, I'm going to put in the description bar the link of the article from fujixweekly.com that I found these recipes from. 